Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to perform a rapid IgG IgM COVID test on myself. Uh, I have been working with a COVID patient in my hospital for the past 60 days and this is the kit that, um, um, that we use in our, in our hospital. Um, as disclaimer, uh, I'm not promoting this kit and I'm not giving any professional advice. Uh, please seek advice from your, uh, your own physician or qualified health professional regarding any antibody test and don't try this at home. Uh, there has been a lot in the news about the effectiveness of these kits. However, as of today, uh, there are no uh, tests in the US that has been approved by FDA and all have some limitations. According to the Becker's, health, uh, Becker's Hospital Review, an article they published on May 14th, there are about 120 different kits in the market right now and they all have some limitations and they show significant number of false positive results. So what is what is an IgG and IgM? Basically IgM is the first antibody that the body makes when it fights a new infection. It usually appears in the body anytime from 2 to 14 days after exposure. IgG is the most common antibody and develops later following the infection and it usually doesn't appear until a few weeks after the infection. IgM indicates new infection while IgG indicates a past infection. The rapid COVID IgG IgM uh, screen provides only a preliminary test results and it shouldn't be used uh, as a sole basis to diagnose or exclude uh, COVID-19 infection. It has to be confirmed with an alternative test method such as the ISO thermal or uh, PCR nucleic acid testing. Um, this is the kit, as I, as I mentioned, that uh, we use in our hospital and uh, we have uh, validated this kit against uh, PCR testing and we have achieved uh, we have achieved a sensitivity of 91.9% and a specificity of 100% with this kit. Now let's try this kit and see if I'm exposed to COVID-19. As I mentioned, I have been working with COVID patients in my hospital for the last 60 days and um, I don't have any symptoms and I have not been tested. Um, again, this is the kit. Um, it's made. Um, by Orient Gen, which is a um, Chinese-based uh, company, um, and uh, so I only have one kit left in this. Uh, when you open it, when you open the box, uh, you will have individual kits like this, which are um, called the rapid diagnostic test, and it also has the um, the buffer. So we're going to set this up and uh, I'm going to try it on my own uh, with my own blood so we can see um, if, uh, if after working uh, 60 days in the hospital uh, with patients if I have uh, developed any um, immunity. Again, um, don't try this at home. Um, talk to your uh, professional, uh, health professional and, um, and uh, you know, again, I'm not promoting this kit or um, any other kit, I'm just merely trying it to see if I have the antibody um, for the COVID. Uh, this is what the box looks like. Um, it says whole blood or serum plasma. So since we're going to be doing it at home, we're just going to do the blood. Um, so this is the kit and uh, we're going to get uh, some alcohol wipes, some 2 by 2s and uh, a lancet. So let's open the kit. Again, even um, even on the box and inside in the in the little insert, they also mention that this is not FDA approved, and um, they talk about it. So. So this is what the kit looks like uh, when you open it.
looks like this. So you have the control here, you have the IgG, IgM, and then you have the well for blood, and you have the well for um, the buffer. And we have the buffer here. And then the kit also comes with a, a pipette, so you can pipette the, the blood off the finger. All right. Let's try this. All right. So I'm going to try it on my finger. Take the alcohol, clean the finger really well. Take the lancet. Uh, this is just like any uh, uh, insulin lancet that you have in the hospital. Right there. Just kind of get the blood. We'll just pipe it into the into the well. So the trick is to get as much of the well, uh, the little filter that's in there, as much blood as possible right there. So I don't know if uh, you can see, but I got a pretty good amount in the well. And then we'll take a two by two. And what we do is uh, we'll take the buffer and uh, we will drop two drops in the well. One, two. So what you'll see now is that you will see the buffer will move up and uh, and as you can see it's moving already I'm gonna bring it higher right there so the buffer is moving up and once it reaches uh, the the control the control will change color to red which indicates that the kit is working and what we'll have to do then is wait about five minutes or so to see if a line will appear on the on the M or the um, or the G. Now, if a line does appear on the M or a G, again, with the with with this test, uh, you always want to do a confirmatory with a swab. So even if I have an IgM. Or IgG, I would still follow up with a swab to confirm. So as you can see, the the control has changed. So now we'll set this down and we'll wait to see if uh, to see if there's an IgM or IgG. So about five minutes has passed now, and again, I don't see any line for IgM or IgG. Um, so this indicates that I have not potentially been exposed um, to a COVID uh, virus. Again, uh, this is not a confirmatory test. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of questions about these kits and... Um, effectiveness of it so again I suggest that you speak with your medical provider if you want to do antibody tests and um, get their professional um, um, advice but as far as this kit is concerned which is the Orient Gin um, then um, I don't have an antibody after 60 days of working with uh, patients here uh, in my hospital well, thank you again uh, for joining me today, 
and I hope uh, you learned something new. Thank you. Bye-bye.